Hello guys and girls and welcome. <laughs> I'm about fell down. I'm just fell down. Hello guys and girls and welcome to this week's episode of Watching Giant Antlers Grow. Whoa, we're not going to be watching giant antlers grow because they're not quite growing yet and they don't any of my, anybody have any antlers left. So we might more appropriately name this the Split Ear Carrot Show. <laughs> the Split Ear Carrot Show. Uh, I don't have little bags of carrots this week. Uh, Sherry ordered, uh, and I picked up from Walmart. I have giant bags of carrots this week. Big bags of carrots. Big bags of carrots. Take up the whole thing. These carrots, I need to get a sponsor from these people. If anybody knows these people, tell them they need to send me carrots by the case. By the case. Or by the truckload. By the pallet, maybe. I don't know. Grimway Farms. Grimway Farms. A little shout out to Grimway Farms. I don't know anybody at Grimway Farms. Uh, cut and peel baby carrots. We go through a lot of them. I mean a lot of them. Ready to eat. No preservatives. Ready to eat. Grimway Farms. Grimway Farms, by the way, I looked at the back of the package. Bakersfield, California. I have I've been to Bob's Bait Bucket, a tackle store out in Bakersfield, California. I don't know that that tackle store is still there. I was probably there 30 years ago. Packed and shipped by Grimway Farms, Bakersfield, California. So if anybody knows anybody at Grimway Farms, tell them to send Jimmy a bunch of carrots for his deer. <laughs> hey, let's get up there to the pen and, uh, and, and, and feed Split Ear and her buddies this big bag of carrots and just see, just see how many carrots she can eat anyway. And I'll tell you what, stay to the end of the video because at the end of the video, at the end of the video, we're going to get 12 points antlers. You know, I found them out there in the snow, and we haven't looked at them. And look at them a little bit more closely, because that's kind of interesting, too. I have not had time to score. we just really been busy, but I have not had time to score. Fished all day yesterday, you know. That was busy. That was busy. We whacked them. Whacked them on a red man spinner, babe. But, uh, but, but I've got to have somebody to help me to, to score those, and we will do some scoring. We'll do a scoring video and show you how to score, too, and it's pretty easy to do uh you can just download the um, download the sheets from from uh, boone and crockett or, or pope and young and which is same scoring system uh just one that d d deer taken or animals taken with a gun animals taken with a bow but uh but we will uh we'll we'll, we'll score those we're, go we're going to score those and uh and see 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 how they come out because it's going to be really interesting and uh, the 12 point uh a lot of y'all have guessed him around 120 130 probably right in the right in the ball game on that some of you have said that Whitey might have gained 40 or 50 inches. I think you're in the ball game on that too. So let's go uh, see if Split Ears is happy to see Jimmy. <laughs> okay, here we are at the pen and there is Split Ears come right to the gate, right to the gate. She's looking awfully pretty. She's looking really, really pretty. And green tag over there, that's a different green tag. That green tag is starting to shed her winter coat already. If you'll notice, back on her hindquarters is a little bit different color. That's because she's uh, already trying to lose her, her winter coat. And it looks like up around uh, Split Ear's neck that she has lost quite a bit. She's beginning to trim up. They'll become real slick looking deals. They won't have near as much fur on them. Some other deer wandering around. Some deer laying down out there in the pen. Uh, I'm going to go in there and, uh, and uh, try to set up my tripod and, and feed split ears. That's the main deal to come into the pen this week. Everything looks really, really pretty. Everything looks really, really good. They've had some 80 degree weather. They've had some <laughs> temperatures down in the, well, especially, especially, we got a big bag of carrots. Especially they've had, and that's Whitey right there in it. That's Whitey, yeah. Uh, Whitey comes over here to see Jimmy too. He thinks Jimmy might be feeding him through the, uh, through the gate. Now, Apache tells me that he's been feeding split ear uh, through the fence. And he said, now if he's in there, he won't eat out of his hand. But you see he's coming right over here because he thinks I might give him something through the fence. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. Yep, that's really cool. And he's going to be, <laughs> you look at him, you just can't imagine what kind of horns he's going to have this year, what kind of antlers he's going to, produce and obviously they're going to be big it's going to be a lot of fun watching them grow he is beginning to get a little bit slicker too you see he's still got quite a bit of winter coat but he's just a big fat beautiful boy big buck i mean a big buck he's up here close I, i'm gonna shut the the, the uh, iphone off here and get in the pen set it up there and take a little look at them where uh, where we can feed this uh, bag of carrots uh, i've got green tag is up here also <laughs> green tag is up here also with uh 
with split ears and they can smell the carrots. Uh, the carrots are in a sealed bag, but they can smell them. And so let's get off in there and set this thing up. We'll go back over there in the back pen where we, everybody can see. And we'll get over there in the back pen and set this thing up and see if we can't get rid of a bag of these. Uh, what was the name of that farm? What's the name of that farm? Let me look it up here. Grimway. Grimway Farms. Grimway Farms. Given Grimway Farms. Anybody in Bakersfield, California work at that place? Tell them to send Jimmy carrots. <laughs> or vouchers for carrots. Vouchers for carrots. That would be good. <laughs> you can see that we have a, a alfalfa out here for them. It, uh, it split ears is right here trying to rip the sack open. She grabbed a hold of the sack and tried to rip the sack open. And uh, she's just walking right beside me. <laughs> and looky there, Whitey. He says, hey, you're in the pen here. I'm not going to be so cordial. But look at Whitey there. Isn't he beautiful? Look, look how big that doe is. That doe is almost as big as Whitey. She is just huge. <laughs> you go ahead and get fat and have you two or three pretty. Hi, Whitey. Guy, you're a handsome guy, even without your antlers. Yes, you are a handsome guy. Yeah, we got, you know, we've got, uh, we had 19 get out and we got 22 back in here. I think we got three, or 23 maybe, I think we got three or four extra. We got some of the babies back, that came back in. And <laughs> Spread Ears is walking with me and she's right here just trying to, whoop, that fell down. She's right here, look at her, trying to get in that carrot bag. <laughs> Okay, baby, I'm going to set it down. I'm going to set it down. You can look down there and see, see all, of the, uh, all of the beautiful deer down there in the woods. They're beautiful. Split ear said, Jimmy, we're not worried about beauty. This is, this is the split ear carrot show. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. <laughs> okay, guys and are here we are in the pen. And I'm going to level with you. Well, I may not have to. I may not have to level with you at all. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. She is bad excited, isn't she? I actually, I actually, and I'm checking and I'm running right now. I actually brought a whole big bag, this big giant bag of carrots in here and fed them to Split Ear and some of her buddies, and I got other buddies coming around, an entire bag about an hour ago, two hours ago maybe, and, and went ahead and, hey, Heather, Whitey, hi, Whitey, and, uh, and went ahead and and shot the rest of this video and everything is done. And I got to looking at it and the part that I shot feeding an entire bag of carrots was not there. I thought, I thought I'd messed up on half a bag. I thought the camera had gone off or something and I messed up on half a bag. But it was actually an entire bag. And I thought, well, she's eating, she's eating pretty much all the bag. Now I did give some, there's green tag right there. There's green tag and there's Whitey over there. Uh, and I thought she won't want any more carrots, so I've really messed this up. I've really messed this up. I just have to apologize and take my lumps and go on. But looky here, looky here. <laughs> she wants another bag. She's like she's crazy. Come here, come here, baby. Come here. Now I had three deer on the other bag. I had three deer that were eaten out of my hand, and one of them was not Whitey. I would like to get Whitey. Come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of turn my camera a little bit there. Turn around this way just a little bit. Where the deer, other deer are. It's not very level there, I don't think. Well, I'm just gonna put it right there and see if I can get here. <laughs> see if I can get another deer here to eat out of my hand. She did right here, she did. She was eating out of my hand earlier, but she was wanting carrots a lot more. Come on. There we go. There she is. <laughs> Split ear says, I don't want none of that. Green tag, there you go, baby. Come here, come here. <laughs> you guys are bad. You carrot monsters. You carrot monsters, baby. You're such a pretty thing. <laughs> Is that something? Is that something? She just follows me around. She's such a... She says, I want carrots. I don't want loving. You can love on me later after we eat all those carrots. I'm telling you. And she ate so much earlier. A whitey. I'm sure anxious for him to, oh my goodness, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Sherry, if it, Sherry was here, she would probably, she would probably feed her out of her mouth. She would probably have a carrot in her mouth and have Sweetie take it out of her mouth. I bet when she comes down and 
Feed you. I, get, I bet that's what she does. Here you go, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Seventy twenty-eight. Now I had another deer. I had another deer also. I don't think it was green tag. I had another deer that also. About got my finger there. Hey, yeah, hey, you about got my finger. You just about got my finger. <laughs> Whitey, he sure would like to. That he likes carrots. Now he will eat through Apache. He's been feeding him. Carrots, Apache buys carrots for him too, just because he likes to feed them. But Apache, Apache said that 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 uh, he can get Whitey to eat carrots out of his hand through the fence. Okay, Whitey, this is it, baby. Come on, come on, come on, Whitey. Look at him; he wants to. He's smelling of it. Come on, come on, Whitey, just one. Come on, Whitey, just one. Oh, Whitey! But I always get in and throw it to him. So, that doesn't really work out that good. <laughs> there you go, Whitey. There you go. <laughs> All right, Moon Tag. We're, going, we're, we're about to one and a half sacks. You're going you're gonna to have the best eyes in the woods. Yes, you will. All right. <laughs> All right, the video ran this time. I looked at it up there. It's been running in about four minutes, so it ran. We're going to uh, we're going to go up there right now and take a look at twelve points antlers. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, you got a lot of carrots today, didn't you, baby? God, isn't she pretty? She's my baby doll. She's my baby doll. She's my baby doll. Yes, you are. You could you could maybe eat a truckload of carrots, couldn't you? Look at her, she's a pretty girl. Yeah, got nice hindquarters on you, girl. Yeah, yeah, every girl likes to hear that, huh? <laughs> Lord, I apologize for that. <laughs> okay, guys and girls, <laughs> the Split Ear Carrot Show. <laughs> I think that's what we got to title this video. Oh, looky there, looky there, horns. For all you rednecks in the south, horns, horns. For everybody else, Antlers, antlers. That looks great, that doesn't it? I mean, then that look that looks massive. I mean if you hold that up like that, like that on his head, hold it up like that, way out like somebody people hold up a big bass. I'm not mentioning any names, but B D and R M and H P <laughs> Y'all figure out who B D is from Memphis, Tennessee, R M is from Florida, and H P from North Carolina, South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina now. Woo, that's the way they hold their bass out. But anyway, let's take a little look at these. When you look at these things right here, you just immediately think that this right side is a little bit stronger than the left side. But it's amazing, they're both about the same. This is a mainframe 10. We call him 12 point because that's what he is. Got the little kicker out here, a little kicker out here that makes him a 12 point. But when we start looking at these, my initial deal as I looked at them and I picked them up was that this right side of his, his antlers is stronger than the left side. And first, first of all, you started looking at brow tine. You hold them down close together. You can see the brow tines right here, these brow tines right here. The brow tines, this is about an inch longer. So you think, well, this side's a little bit stronger. And you look up there and you go on up and you see up here in the twos and the threes up here that this is a little bit longer than this one over here. It's a little bit longer. And this one is a nice, this is a really good one out here. You look at that and compare to those two. You see as you hold those two up there together, here and here. You hold those two together, you see that that's a lot stronger. So my initial thought was this side is a lot stronger side. A mainframe 10 with these little stickers out there. So this would be scored as a typical, a typical 10 point. And um, but so you look at that and you think, well, this side is stronger than this side. But then when you get out here to the fours and fives, you get out here to the ends, this is quite a bit longer. You look at this right here, you can see that this is quite a bit longer, and so these, both of these are quite a bit longer than these two on this side. So that kind of equalizes out. So actually, both sides should score about the same. They should score really, really close to the same. We'll see, because we're going to score them. I just got to get somebody down here to help me. Every time somebody's here, we're going fishing, but, uh, but I got to, somebody's coming down uh, from Kansas, and, and uh, Larry's coming down from Tulsa. And then my buddy Jeff Shaw from uh, retired from Roe Wright, retired. I can't only believe he's retired. Fifty some odd years old, retired. You know, my buddy Roland Martin be eighty 
82 this month. That's right, 82. I think on the 13th of March, 82 years old. And uh, he's not retired. He's working every day. He's guiding every day just about, and he's doing personal appearances. He went to Bassmaster Classic. Uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all saw him at the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, he was there. Bill was there. Hank was there. They all called me and said, where are you, Jimmy? And I was uh, speaking at a church in Gadsden, Alabama, while the Bassmaster Classic was going on. By the way, again, a great big shout out to my buddy Jason Christie. I've known him ever since he was born. I knew him before he knew me, actually, because a uh, little baby is just Jimmy was just some other guy in the neighborhood. But uh, he learned quickly who Jimmy Houston was, and we were very, very good friends. And I'm just so, so tickled. He almost won another classic there at Hartwell. He's won a couple FLW tournaments and almost won a Bassmaster Classic at. Uh, at uh, Grand Lake, and my buddy Edwin Evers won that, and uh, those two guys, both here from Oklahoma, uh, battled it out there on Grand. I battled it out with Grand uh, on Grand with Jason myself, and and when he won the tournament, and I finished second or third. But anyway, they go back to the back to the antlers, get off on that tournament. Congratulations, Jason. We got a big deal up on our Facebook page about Jason, a big, big article in there about him, and we're just we're just so proud of him. I mean, we're just. Absolutely so proud of him, and I'm probably more proud than anybody else. Maybe that his mama. His mama is really proud of him because his mama is the one that really taught him how to bass fish. But these horns are going to score just about the same. We will, uh, we'll, we'll do that scoring. I get somebody down there to help me. We'll print those sheets out and uh, and score these deer and and see just exactly what they score because. This deer is going to hang around, and hopefully he'll stay alive and won't get killed during hunting season, and we'll be able to get his uh, antlers again next year. It's very fortunate when you can take a wild deer like 12 point and find both of his handlers he dropped them side by side but to do that again next year and this this is probably his second antlers uh might be his first i don't know but it's probably his second i'm just thinking that he's a two-year-old and uh you know we, we age deer and we age them when we're out there hunting uh we don't, don't like to take a deer out of the other woods until they're four or five or six years old but we're not always accurate. We're not always accurate. Just like you could look at a kid and say, looks like he's seven or eight years old and you're probably gonna be pretty close. Or looks like he's 12 or 14 years old, probably gonna be pretty close. But, uh, but sometimes we're, we're not exactly right. I'm gonna say this is his second, second year horns. And, but they're, they're very impressive for two year horns. Very, very impressive. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, yeah, I sure do love you.